What is going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Guys, I'm going to talk a little bit today about uh, some incidents that happened recently at Hartfield Jackson Airport in Atlanta. And um, before I get into it and show this video clip, I want to say something real quick. It seems like after 9-11, when they heighten the security and we have to go through all these hoops in, you know, just getting to our flight and getting on the plane, a lot of people are fr uh, flustered. And believe me, going through that type of stuff, if you're a frequent traveler like I used to be, it, could, it, it can be frustrating. You know, you get out. Sometimes you're running late. Sometimes there's delays. There's a lot of things that push people over the edge. In this video today, I'm going to show you uh, three instances that they showed on this video of people just acting complete fools. And it's like airport buffoonery is like at an all time high. Not only do these people act crazy in front of the elderly, they act crazy in front of children. They act crazy in front of police, all kind of stuff. They fight out in the open. It's like nothing matters except what they want in life. The world do not rotate around one person. If I, you, or you die today, the earth would still spin and trains would still operate and the planes would still fly without batting the eye whether we was here or not. So all this self-entitled stuff about, oh, I can't do this, I can't do that, so let me act the fool. And tear up as much stuff as I can should not be tolerated. Guys, I'm going to show you this video and you'll see what I'm talking about. Check it out. An angry traveler curses Delta Airlines staff and then spits on an employee. It is the latest episode of ugly behavior that puts police officers in the middle of sometimes volatile situations at Hartsfield Jackson. Uh, Fox Eyes Morse Diggs joins us now with exclusive video. Morse? So if you witness a volatile situation, but you're not the one being slapped or spat on, you might think, hey, that was crazy, but not my problem. I want you to listen to what one retired APD officer told me, explaining how that type of episode could become everybody's problem at the gate. They don't, not this flight. But, they, they, but listen, they can rebook you, right? You can get a hotel for the night. <laughs> this is the part of the Atlanta airport you do not see on the glossy video presentations. Oh, I just had yeah. two drinks at the bar. A woman desperate to make a flight to return to family is told she cannot get on board. Y'all know y'all couldn't let me on your Come on. You Come on. Get you your a You a You a oh, Why you spit on her, man? I Sometimes it's very ugly on Hartsfield Jackson concourses. Recently, we showed you another irate passenger, a pregnant woman who tackled and injured a Spirit Airlines gate worker. And recall a different passenger on another day. She decided to grab a fire extinguisher as gate passengers did their best to get out of her way. Sometimes it gets out of hand uh, when you're at the airport, uh, especially when you involve alcohol. Or Curry is a former APD investigator whose current activities involve a lot of travel. He explained how bad passenger behavior can impact the other law-abiding travelers. I've been on a flight before where a young lady got very irate with the uh, flight attendant. And actually, everybody had to disembark until law enforcement come on, which made the other customers upset because at that point, what happens? Passengers on that flight miss their other connecting flights. It's very frustrating on both sides. So you have a situation here in which police officers tell me there is a gap in coverage here. The gap being the airlines, they say, would be well advised to hire off-duty APD officers, especially for these gates that are at one end or the other of the airport not relying on just the on-duty officers to get there. So if they hire as an extra job, you can monitor those gates. One more thing, 
that officer using de-escalation techniques did a very, very good job. Thought he had it resolved until she did that act, which is battery, and he had to arrest her. Reporting live from Hartsfield Jackson Airport, I'm Morse Diggs. Hey guys, that was the clip. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I am like up to here with like all the buffoonery in the airport and people just acting like the earth, the world owes them something all the time. It's like, no matter what, it's my way or no way. Let's examine the first video, which was the main thing. And this happened at Hartfield Jackson Airport in Atlanta. Think about it. She falls on the ground and throws a temper tantrum like a little kid. She falling out, trying to get pity. The guy that was there, the host or whatever, concierge, whatever, he's telling her, listen, you can't get on a plane. And he's trying to reason with her. We'll put you in a nice hotel. We we'll give you all the uh, treatment, you know, the royal treatment. He's trying to make the situation right. People don't understand something. This is a billion dollar corporation, airlines. Right. These places, I've seen them come on the plane. Hey, we got one person too many. Somebody has to get off the plane. They'll start the auction. We'll give you $200 and a free flight. $300, $400. I've seen them go up to $1,000 to get somebody off the plane. And somebody always be like, yo, way to be me. I'll do it. And they pay for your hotel and everything. Or you might leave an hour later. They offering like $800 for people to leave the next flight an hour later. I would take that. They offered to give this lady, you know, pay for a food, pay for a hotel, everything else, right? She falling on the floor. Don't want to hear it. All of a sudden, when she sees she's not going to get on the plane, she get up. Here come the real her. Y'all could have let me on that plane. Y'all could have this. Y'all could have that. No, you couldn't. No, they couldn't, man. No, they couldn't because I want you guys to understand something. Depending on wind speed, weather conditions, and all kind of stuff, planes have certain guidelines of weight restrictions they can put on the plane of amount of weight. People think, oh, I'm only one person. The plane is a big, powerful machine. Yeah, but if it messes up the flight controls and all this other stuff, you want to be responsible for that? Or you can't be responsible because you go down with the plane and be dead. These are billion dollar uh, assets for a company. To perform a service for you, you and you sitting up here acting stupid. Then when she seen she get it, ain't gonna get her way. She get up and target the lady. You could have let me on. You could have let me on. You could have let me on. You a bitch. Here come the name calling. The child is shit. Then you got the nerve to spit in somebody's face. Listen, yo, you spit in somebody's face. That's a death sentence. That lady get all the respect in the world because she better than me. If that a piece of that spit got near me. Let alone touch me. I'd have tried to tear her face off. You know what I'm saying? I'd have lost my job. And that's one of the reasons why I don't do jobs like that. Work with the people like with people like that. Because it's hard. Because people will play you out. She shouldn't have been acting like that. She's a young lady. Sitting up there. Crying and acting dumb and all this stuff. And all of a sudden. Soon as she don't get away. F you, F you, F you. I'm going to tear the place up. The place ain't got nothing to do with you. Or nothing. People act like the earth will stop spinning if they don't get their way. I don't know where this came from. When I was young, you used to get your ass beat when you act out in public. I think they stopped doing that. Uh, it got to be something because it's like nobody has any type of social etiquette anymore. Seriously. She's sitting up there with a shirt that say black educated. From what? The school of niggadom? Because that's how you acted. That was straight nigga shit right there. And I hate using that word on my channel. But damn, sometimes you got to keep it the fuck real. That aggravates me seeing stuff like that. She know better. And then you notice when the handcuffs come out and it, it, it always connect with that wrist. Oh, now all of a sudden they want to bargain. All of a sudden you doing something bad to them. They didn't do nothing. That's the part that cracks me up. That's the part that cracks me up. You did all of this confusion that made you get into where you are. Like cause and effect because you acted a fucking fool. Now, this is what happens to fools. You get put in uh, chains. All of a sudden, you want to buck and cry and act like somebody doing something to you. We see it all the time. I look at police videos. People acting crazy. I'm going to do a video later on the day. Shit get pulled over. She started acting a fucking fool.
The cop came up and talked nice to her. Listen, that's the first video. That pissed me off. Second video, I was going to do a story on this. This happened, what, last week, a couple weeks ago? The pregnant girl attacks the lady. Ma'am, you pregnant. Why are you trying to fight with the baby? Think about it. You got a child inside of you. And you put it on your, 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 uh, in your mind. I'm mad at the airport, so I'm going to ta attack somebody, risk my child's safety. You know what I'm saying? Because you with child, you carrying a child. You got another human being in you, and you're doing devil shit by fighting on somebody. No regard for the child. Don't know you could land on your stomach or get flung into a chair or something. No. Then they talking about, oh, they basing on alcohol because supposedly the pregnant lady was drunk. What the fuck you drinking with a baby in you anyway? If y'all ever seen that story about the pregnant girl fighting, so she got up and I'm pregnant and I'm pregnant. They put her in handcuffs. Now she went to cop a plea. Like all of a sudden she go back to now the uh, feminine qualities on her. We should feel pity on. You ain't care about the baby. You wouldn't been drinking. You wouldn't been fighting. Especially in a public place. She savagely attacked that lady and handled her. That right there was a juggernaut. Y'all ain't never seen them. That's them. That's the one that was in the car. The car flipped over. She got up the car and acted a fool. Drove through the gas station. You can't stop them. Can't stop them. And you damn sure can't hurt them. You know what I mean? <sighs> Guys, listen. The last one really angered me. This lady took a fire extinguisher. Did you see it? Go back and look at the video. She blew it in the lady's face first. Full pressure. That's a sticky gas, and it's a halon gas that where it pulls oxygen out of uh out of fires. It it it, it dampens the fire and it pulls the oxygen out of the air. She sprang that up and down. Oh, look at me! I'm a real uh, I'm a real one. Uh, I don't give a fuck. That's the thing. I don't give a f. You know what I'm saying? Spraying that shit. See how dense that cloud was? Spraying it all over. People running. Listen. You in a place, a concealed area. People have what? Asthma. People have oxygen masks on sometimes. People have breathing problems, emphysema. You name it. All types of people are handicapped and all types of people have problems on them that you can't see, right? And you go in there and F the world. I'm going to just do this. Ah, ah, I'm keeping it the fuck real. Well, something real bad need to happen when you do that kind of dumb shit. For real, they need to have just risking public safety. Anything like that where you risk public safety and all of that stuff, it need to be stiff fines. I mean, stiff penalties, like prison time. Oh, you want to act dumb in the airport? Yeah. I'd have a jail in the basement. It sounds stupid, but I'd have holding cells in the basement. I'd grab these people, contain them, take them to the basement, and write the county jail. I'd have a paddy wagon and everything. I'd pay for it right out the damn door. Minimum of one year, depending on how stupid you was and what your, what your reasoning for doing that was. I'm telling you, people need to go in the airports where they like, damn, you know, you can't fuck up in here. You mess up in here, something going to happen. I mean, they doing this stuff in front of the police. They fighting each other. They getting on planes and acting dumb. That's another thing. They need to treat inside the airport as if the plane was in the air, like as if they was on a plane in the air. Them two different type of penalties. They need to give them penalties as if, because I mean, it's a public disturbance and it risks public safety. When she sprayed that thing, I was done right there. That right there is a health hazard. And then it's crazy. They go do that. They go get a misdemeanor or something, something stupid. Somebody will find pity on them, right? Here come a maintenance person got to sit there all goddamn day. Around the clock sh uh, shifts, trying to get all that shit up. Now you made your problem, everybody else's problem. People got to get to different flights. Flights connect to other flights. You acting stupid like that don't help you or anybody else. Thus, you make your problem everybody else's fucking problem. It's like a lack of uh, accountability, a lack of sensitivity, and a lack of respect for your fellow man. Motherfuckers don't got it. It seemed like after 9-11, everybody then just lost their damn mind. Yeah, it's going to be tumultuous. And I'm going to tell you something. It's going to be a tumultuous time going through the airport sometime. But I'd rather go through that shit than get blown up in the goddamn sky and driven into a fucking building. Nobody thinks like that. It's like a... It's, man, guys, there are a lot of grown-ups. 
that have the mind of children and I don't even know how they survive. It's so different in the way I was raised and the way people are raised now. It's crazy. You meet an adult and they're 24 years old and people be like, oh, that's a baby still. What the fuck? I was a baby. You've been out of school six years. You've been in the real world for six years. I did a story about the girl 25 years old. Seven years out in the street. You still letting people get a gun, get, get you to go steal a gun for them out of a gun range with no mask on? Just stupid shit. Guys, I don't know what the fuck's going on. But they need to have a lot of serious penalties. You heard what the guy said, the newscaster said at the end of the uh, thing. He said, the airport says, you know, they can't be everywhere at once. And it'd be good for them to hire uh, plainclothes cops to be in the areas where they would have to run a long way to respond. Honestly, think about that. Yeah, it sounds good, but it's bullshit. Why would a company have to get more security to handle situations at a place that's made to serve you when you can't act your, your, your best when your best behavior. So it's going to cost people money. We got to pay money because certain people can't act the way they can't act accordingly. Like normal human beings and show respect for their fellow man. I done had enough. Listen, guys, as always, like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. I appreciate you guys following along. Another thing, you guys hit the thumbs up. A lot of you guys are coming in here. I think it was 57% of my uh, subscribers are non, I mean, of my uh, viewers are non subscribers. Hit the subscribe button. If you like what you hear and you made it this far, I got a lot more videos in my uh, video uh, library that you might be interested in. Try them out. But go ahead and subscribe, man. You're already at the party. You might as well dance to the beat. Take it easy. I'll see you in the next video.